What I need to do is I need to core Riga, state Riga, upgrade their thing to a natural harbour, and then my my events, Rob, they upgrade the centre of trade by one. So I don't want to waste it upgrading from one to two. I want yeah. it from two to three. Yeah, fair. Um, so now I have to disband these transports as well. Let me mothball that fort. I do want to keep the fort in Riga, so I should. Um, uh, hello, Jenna. So we have got. So I'm just also aware that I need to keep an eye on that raid button. Uh raid. We have got me as Gotland. Rob is playing Sweden. Uh, and Greg is back in his homeland. Okay, so I do that. Humiliate rivals, full missions. Don't want to do that yet. Production, taxation, trade. I'm not going to do exploration ideas yet because I want to make sure that I am getting the most out of my country. Uh, let's match these two, ship them over to Riga. I might build one more of the Marines. Can everyone stop being in debt? I'm not in debt. My allies are in town. Hey, if you need a loan from the bank of the island off your coast, then the bank is always open. The annoying part is now that I held Riga, it's one of the best provinces that I was raiding. That's no longer mine. I can't hold it, yeah. Okay, so Riga is now cored. So let's state it. Coral provinces again. Upgrade that. And then if I updo this one, it'll make it a world port. No, it won't. Of course it won't, because it didn't have the development. Well, that's sad. I messed up a little bit there. I am actually now the... Oh, that's why it was no longer profitable for me to be stealing from uh, Novgorod, Rob. Because I am now the biggest trade partner in Baltics. Oh, Riga, yeah. Because I hold Riga. France is gonna get messed up. Who's France at war? Ottomans, England separately. I don't know, yeah. the Otto I feel like the Ottomans aren't gonna go the way over there. Why would and they France they? will focus on sieging down the neighbouring English provinces before they siege down. Yeah, but oh They have to fight the Scot Scotland as well. Fair enough. But overall, England has more troops than France does. But England has to get them across the channel. I start running my army again. Aragon's dead. 
I, like, I know it would be a bit bad if they programmed it in, but I don't know why they let Castile attack Aragon. <laughs> Rob, who has, how many Cardinals do you have? I think just the one. <laughs> Guess who has two now? But you stole Riggers. Uh, stole is such a cruel word. What are the chances for Austria's Emperor to live on for 10 more years? Very low. <laughs> because then I could potentially uh, abdicate. Not too bad. I could potentially abdicate. 66 is unlikely. 66 yeah, is unlikely, but not unheard of. No. But then, theoretically, it could go into his 70s. Yes. You know, I'm going to improve relations with you again, Rob. <laughs> I have to make your country... Your, I, I don't know how I managed to balance a positive opinion with your country, but... I do. And it's quite impressive. Lubeck is now loyal towards me, and in 10 years I can integrate them. Which will give me even more control, and then I'll move my... I'll eventually move my centre of trade to Lubeck. And steer everything out of the Baltic. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Um, let's get another one of these. Let's get another one of these. I am just making money now, Rob. I'm, I'm not even losing money anymore. Like, I'm doing pretty decent. Oh, my king, my, sorry, my captain died. That's annoying. He was a good Please captain. Your ways. What, me? <laughs> Killing the other <laughs> rulers. That's the set. Well, all of my rulers are generals because they automatically become admirals. And That's I permanently nice. have my fleets out. I permanently have my fleets out doing something or another. That's nice. Yeah. What I will do is I will. I can also sell you the next institution, Rob, if you have money at that point. Because I will integrate Lubeck and dev it in Lubeck. Let's look at the development map mode, just because, you know, why not? Oh, <laughs> what's that? Gotland is the shining gem of Europe? Wait, is Go Gotland genuinely the most developed province I know of? Uh, Come here, Ledger. Antinople, Rome. Behind them both. Oh, Provincial That's development. Clear. Gotland is the most developed province in the known world. Probably Beijing's still higher. Oh yeah. Florence is on 28. Uh, Paris, Cairo, Venice are all on 27. Naples 26. And then quite a big drop off down to the 23 areas. Well 23 is Burgundy. 22 has a bunch. 21 has a bunch. Where do you... Oh yeah, you appear on a 22, uh, Rob. And Greg appears on a... 18. Four. Not four, four though. Develop, uh, highest developed province. Hmm. Well, technically your highest developed province is 20 and uh, Byzantium. But the highest you directly own. Yeah. Let's see, four. Iberian Wedding. I mean, at that point, if I was Castile, I wouldn't want it. I would take the stab. I would take the free stab. <laughs> yeah. Because that's Don't one take... more. Yeah. You don't even get uh, Naples. Oh, and they just gave away... Uh, they're giving provinces back? Yeah. Mallorca is independence? Many? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that has been a thing. Uh, but they had all the three islands. I got that in a ship to hey, to I got a free ship and explorer. Why, why give me a heavy ship with the Explorer? 
After the next idea, after the next text, I'm just gonna commit to doing exploration. Maybe I do naval as my next idea group. I feel like I'm playing pirates. I have to commit to this sea-based play. Yeah. Why do I still have Regan? There we go, Regan Separatists go away next year. So that's fine. I can merge all of them into one fleet. Good. Okay, that's good. My colonial range is nowhere near enough to colonize Greenland, but it's enough to find Greenland. They did add a, if I remember right, I heard somewhere that they had added a raiding map. Is it true? I don't remember. Piracy. There we go, they did. And do you know what that has just told me? Oh yeah. It has told me that I can raid London. If I... I would be able to raid Holland and all that and I'm I'm currently stuff. looking at all these places Rob and mm. trust me they won't be blue for much longer I can I see your I can't see your piracy oh and it tells you which ones have been raided and yeah. not that is very nice that makes me want to Pirates no, I remember. I remember hearing that they had done a change like it, and it is a fantastic change. Oh yeah, because it's just one of those map modes that you feel like is needed in the game. Well, it's the one that I asked you a while ago. Uh, yeah. A while ago, is there a map mode for it? The thing is, raiding the coast of Norway doesn't actually give me enough money to justify raiding the coast of Norway. Or do I anyway. Money is money. Well, it gives me five ducats, and in that time, I could be privateering. Yeah. Hey, Rob, I heard down the grapevine that you're looking for a war with Denmark. I mean, I am, but how did you hear that? Because I also want a war with Denmark. Oh, what do you want? Uh, to sink 20 ships. Or for <laughs> them to not exist. Oh. How many... Like, I'm just... Ooh, that's... I I mean, I can't make them not exist, but I I can think I can also destroy a certain amount of their ships, so make them have a less than five ships, and it also applies. That's right. But Do you want the... an alliance? I would love an alliance. Because I am literally think just considering... Yeah. I, I sent England a request to join wars... Um... And Poland's willing. England's not quite, but they should be soon, to be fair. You can't really win of Europe. I'm just moving my fleets into port. Um... Almost did the wrong CB. There we go. My problem is I need the na the Danish fleet to come out. Oh, they're going to siege down the back. That's annoying. Oh, turn around. Turn around. No. I've been ambushed by Hamburg. Did I gain all four of those? Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Denmark has moved their fleet towards Bornholm. Towards Gotland. Oh, Go into the Gulf of Finland. Do it. Let me think. Yalka. No, 
ice, that's a strong performance. What I'll do is I'll quickly repair my fleet. No, not military. Fleet. England's joined, by the way, provided they do nothing. I don't mind England joining. What I do mind is if they try and contribute in terms of destroying the, the navy. Oh, that's a dream come true for me. Let's grab. Hey, Rob, I wouldn't mind some parts of Iceland. Oh, where's mine? As, I, as in, I can colonise before you can, Rob. If you give me a province in Iceland, it gives me the ability to start a colony so I can quickly get into the new world and then I can give you the province in, Ice, in Iceland. Say, Rob, I just used marines. For an actual reason. What? Get onto Iceland? Get onto Bornholm. Because there's oh. the Danish navy in Bornholm. Oh, and you want to kick them out. And I want to kick them. them out so I can kill them. Nice. I lost one, they lost five. I'd have preferred them to lose more. I will just send the five all the way up to Iceland then. Or the three, I suppose, is technically what I am sending. Actually, no, I won't. I will send them to Lolland. Just... Oh, okay, I'm not so sure about those numbers. Okay, I'm feeling more confident. Here. I will give you a bunch of these things, mm. Rob. Congratulations, Greg! You've got a new overlord! Woo! <laughs> as soon as I saw Kratia's been inherited, and suddenly heard the groan. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> that means that. Oh, oh what no. happened? Legimus. No, what? I I didn't actually know. Wait, does oh, I? Did... I Where, managed did to kill him off. off. I managed to kill him. Yeah, Ladamas died. How, how did Croatia get inherited? Because how? there was a new there's a new ruler in charge of Hungary, and it said there's a chance every time that the ruler dies after however many years. Oh. So oh, it was yeah. a legitimate oh. inheritance. I thought it was the scripted inheritance. No, it wasn't. It... That was lucky. I really hope that I won't get put under, because it's I don't have the same. You'll have a larger um, dev, so they won't declare on yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, I've done it. Oh, nice. So all I need now is to take Shelland. I'll I'll let you take everything before you. I I try and persuade you to give me Shelland. I'd rather give it to you than you give it me uh, give it to me back earlier rather than later, to be honest. I mean, do I have to give it to you back? Oh, yes. That would be amazing. Well, then there's no point in me taking it. Because oh. it's an end chain event. All it does is upgrade development. Uh, it upgrades the. It changes the development of the great work by two. Oh, the one it, in Shjeland. It upgrade. It gives you two base manpower. It increases the center of trade. Like it's really good, but 
I'm not giving you all of that. Oh. Have you sieged a province in Iceland? Yes, you have. I can give you the siege of whichever one you... No, uh, as in you. Yeah. I'm giving it to you. I don't need the siege of... Well, no, as more... I can give you the siege of whichever one you want, because I'm. you're um... only giving me one. I'll take the left one, because it is better. Yeah, I'm giving you the left one, That's of course. Fine, Um, I have Beyond Home. Um, yeah. Oh, you can have all of them. Sorry, I forgot that. No, it, yeah, no. It, it... Why are they giving them to me? Oh, because I have claims on them all, whilst you don't. Well, it's the thing with Beyond Home is, um, it's in the same. Oh, no, it was more I was looking at all the others and I was given all the ones in Jutland as well. Thank you. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Is it? <laughs> it was for me. <laughs> because I my navy grew quite significantly during that. Yeah, no. I... And do you know what I can do now? <laughs> Raid our friends in England! <laughs> I couldn't raid them before because we were in a war on the same side, and it made me very sad. Did you take Norway? Yeah. Of course I took Norway. That was the point of the war, to take Norway. Yeah, I was just checking. Yeah, but I, I have the value which is the English Channel trade note. I need to remember to not become Defender of the Faith. Females can become electors. Uh, sorry, females can become Empress. Because because they've got a female heir. Pragmatic sanctions. Yeah. It's an event. They, yeah, it costs them a fair amount of imperial authority. Yeah. Oh. I could be the first country with a colonial nation. Portugal, England. England hasn't got it yet. Portugal, okay, Portugal probably will. Spain is the same stage as me. France hasn't done it. The Netherlands hasn't done it. Norway very rarely does it, so they haven't done it. So yeah, it'll be between me and Portugal. Yay, Reykjavik is now part of my country. I mean, oh, of course it's already a core because I have Faroe Islands. Oh, Rob, you hero. What the? Th the colonial range. Come? Just look at the map. I can hit most of sort of New England. Oh, Not nice. New England. New. Is it New England? Newfoundland? Newfoundland. This is Prince Edward's Island or whatever it's called. Yeah. And there we go. I've got my colonist. So, uh, I assume you'll want to go Greenland, or is the Greenland thing not added yet? Uh, Greenland's Norway. Okay. Green doesn't belong to anyone currently, but you know, I was just checking if you were taking it or not. I mean, the only reason I'm going to do colonization is for the thing in Uh I know that's helpful. The Event. Well, Norse thing, but yep. that's South America. So it won't be till at least my third idea group. Because I won't have the colonial range. This is actually going better now that I can colonize. Because I don't want to mass expand in Europe. Yeah. Uh -huh. huh, that's slightly threatening. Have you seen this from? Yep. Huh. Why are they there? Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I assume they're not there for any actual reason. The great pirate colonies. 
I might actually change my thingy. How do you change it? I know it costs a stability. Is it worth stability? You've already changed. I haven't changed it. You click on it and then it asks you if you want to change it. No, but as in you chose it to begin with. I and know, now but you're already wanting. To. But I forgot how unpopulated this part is. I just send one troop. Like send one. I have sent over. one marine over, which is why I'm contemplating changing it. Which I, I actually am going to, because it doubles the speed that I get my colony. Hmm. Which is quite a nice st stat double. It's just not worth doing it. Gotland Games gains a permanent claim on every centre of trade or province with an estuary in Colonial Caribbean. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean own five provinces in the Colonial Caribbean. I think that's how I would flip into being a, my capital over there. I'm assuming. Because I know there is an event that flips your capital. So... Just to update everyone who is watching. So I am playing Gotland with the new pirate mission tree. Uh, which I'm slowly working my way down. Uh, we have got Garvin down here in Hungary. Holding back the Ottoman tide. And somehow constantly avoiding being PU'd. <laughs> and Rob is up here playing Sweden. Who is currently my friend even though I endlessly raid them. <laughs> And by endlessly. Oh, it stopped since. It has stopped since the alliance. Gone. But. I think I need Cornwall. <laughs> mm, keep this guy. Yeah, that is currently how this game is going. Boost up that. And yeah, so my plan is to be very small in Europe. And slowly colonize. Uh, and slowly take over sort of key provinces. So I'm going to have Lubeck as a vassal. And at some point I will integrate them. I've taken Riga. Because it's part of a mission and it's also a good choice. Um, I need to take Danzig. But it's owned by Poland. Which is not a great situation for me. I do need roads and motor. I 100% agree. My problem is, I think my only entrance way is to get the Accords of Portugal. And I can't see an easy way to go to war with Portugal without taking on England. And to take on England, I would need my good friend, Sweden, to break their alliance and to join me. And that's not going to happen anytime soon. England's doing well. England is doing well, which is why I'd need you to help me. <laughs> Beat them. Yeah. Um, England are making for a reasonable ally for once. They got done lives. Yeah, true. Certainly, certainly better than Poland. I I would love to be able to raid the Ottomans. Actually, I'd love to be able to raid Europe. It's sort of the Mediterranean part of it. So really, what I want is I want the Blairs. I want Malta. And I want roads, because that gives you the ability to raid everything. Johnny Depp does not lead Gotland. Currently in charge of Gotland is... Lars Banner. I don't know how you uh, do that. Brother of <laughs> it is the brother of Boots Banner. That, that is, that is what you, all you need to know. I I can see the benefit of the innovative espionage. I just... I don't feel like doing innovative unless you're doing a very tech-focused run. Is particularly worth it? It... It gets good when you get to the end of innovative. But I, I'm feeling like I have to go for naval. As, you know, I'm pirates. 
And I feel like not taking Naval as one of my first idea groups would be letting down all the pirates out there. Naval might be an awful idea group, but I'm pirates. The other thing is I can't take Maritime, which is the better one that I want to take. And currently, since I'm only really taking islands, a lot of the other military ones just go down. And although I like offensive, offensive doesn't play into my naval game. Economic is tempting. Because economic is always tempting. But that might just be my degree speaking. My issue is, whilst I love innovative as a te as I I since I play f sort of te republics a fair amount, I love innovative. I just. I don't know. I think it's it's good for playing tool with the development, which to be fair is somewhat how I'm going to be playing. Plutocratic oh, is just such a short. Sure. You okay? Oh yeah, I've got a colonist now. Nice. What can you I colonize? Oh, no clue. Mm. I need to explore the stuff first. I do feel uh, like they've unbalanced a lot of idea groups in the latest patch. This is actually something we were discussing earlier. Well, it's, they've unbalanced the missions, they've unbalanced the idea groups. They're, they're, as much as I like a lot of the newer stuff, it's just a problem of it's unfair for the older stuff they've done. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you for this, Tesla. And if if you if if this doesn't work out, I'm a hundred percent pinning this on you. Okay, if it does work out, you get to pick the name of my flagship. I think this is a fair deal, so long as it's a reasonable name. I'm going to put that caveat in there now. Before these guys have a go at me for turning back on it later. So I will take innovative. Just raid all of these. Having truces with people that I want to raid is always annoying, especially Denmark. Oh, damn. You okay? No, I was just... You just so, oh, damned. Yeah, oh, damn. Um, so, the way I got my colonist is not through ideas, it's through yeah. a mission. Which means you can't Have get an explorer. To eat. No, it gave me the explorer. Ah! Oh. Uh... I did think about that, don't get me mm. wrong. But it was just to have three light ships in Bergen House. Um, and then if I colonize five provinces in colonial Canada or colonial Eastern America, I get another colonist. Uh, thank you for the there follow, are... Tesla. And I hope you get a good night's sleep. Uh, but no, we're, we will be streaming this probably on a weekly basis. So feel free to check in whenever. And you'll be able to see whether the pirates are thriving or not. <laughs> and let's take it, they'll always be thriving. <laughs> but yeah, have a lovely evening, dude. Oh, you can finish now, Rob. Um, yeah, no, the first colonists for 75 years, the second colonists 25 years. So hopefully, if I can make use of them... That'd be very, very useful. An annoying situation where I kinda want to hunt for the uh, hunt for the seven cities, is it? I think that's seven cities, it, thing. yeah. No. 
but equally I don't have I I don't have the troops to be able to afford uh to be able to afford sending over them them over there. What manpower or sailors or money? Uh, manpower, um, force limit. Uh -huh. Are you already over? Uh, I'm not over. Yeah, go over by like three. I'm already quite far over my force, uh, my force limit though. <laughs> my naval. Oh, okay. Oh. By, uh, I think over ten now. Oh, do you not have the ships? Freaking hell. What? No, it's, it's gone all the way down to, like, Florida, my explorer. Yeah, I've gone all the way down to Florida because of Iceland drop. I assume you get the perks of Norway. Norway. And you're, uh, I think they do classify as having ports on the same time. I, ca I can even go into the Caribbean, but my first settlement will probably be in... Greenland? Uh, no, Eastern America. Oh yeah, because the Greenland one is not implemented yet. Is my army still drilling? Drill! I'm going for a high... I'm trying to get my army professionalism up as high as possible. Because I'm gonna have... Uh, since I'm gonna have such a small army... I really hope these ships make it, man. Tesla I one. Can, I, should I can it. either gain a stability and 10% discipline or 50 prestige and 10% discipline. Stability if you want that. bit permanent? Positive stability is always incredible. Forward to Grawl. Oh, the last Justin tournament just fired for me. Uh, and this would increase morale of armies by quite a lot. I, I went with the prestige. Really? Yeah. Huh, interesting. To see if it helps in terms of prestige. Uh, uh what is that about against 1999? God damn it. What? No, it's. Greg annoying me with Muscovy. <laughs> I got more discipline and more morale than the Ottomans. Take that. What I need to do is I need to improve relations with Austria. Not to get an alliance with Austria, but just to stop Austria from getting super pissed with me when I integrate Lubeck. Because that is what I'm currently going to start doing. Price of fur, nice one. So where did you go for in the end? Oh yeah. Garbage gag. Went for the furthest possible province along. Shouldn't you have gone down, not along? Uh, that was the... Oh, could you not hit? Oh, yeah, I suppose. That was ever so slightly further. Mm. Portugal is colonizing the Caribbean. Yeah, it's incredibly annoying because I need to get down there. But I also just need to get Bahamas or Bermuda. What was the team? Here we go, boys. So, is that? now, now, now. Oh. <laughs> Gregory, kind Gregory. Yes. Now that you've got Muscovy helping you in the war, do you mind if I attack Muscovy? Oh, come on, please don't do that. I mean, it's literally the best time for me to attack Muscovy. I need their troops. Well, yeah, I you'll have them. That's why Rob wants to attack. 
No, I will let you know when I'm gonna finish the war and then you can attack them because then their troops are gonna be the, the furthest away possible. Is that good? And will you join said war? I don't know. He can so join and peace out a year later. I know you won't be massively a big fan of joining at the moment because Musk, well, Poland's gonna turn around and attack you. <laughs> um. uh, oh, I don't have good enough shot. What? Oh, I'm actually winning this one. I won a battle against the Ottomans, just me and Byzantium. You do have great. Did, weren't you the one bragging about? Hello, Jack Splitson. You're here, are you? Huh? How are you doing, sir? What was I bragging about? Uh, that you had higher discipline and morale than the Ottomans. <laughs> yes, but I wasn't sure if that would translate into actual performance. I feel like the Ottomans have been less reliant on Jana Sari recently, from what I've seen. Elizabeth the First of Austria. There it goes. I crossed I crossed the Sea of Marmara. I think I think you have won this. It would be my hunch. <laughs> 